wear a lot of hats, but I guess ultimately I'm the creator and director of three very good series, award-winning even, one might say. In Our Backyard technically was the first series, very crime, drama-oriented. Look Through the Windows is very much a uh, love letter to my life. I'd say it's more a comedy than it is a drama, but I could call it a dramedy. It's the same coin as probably the most recent one. We released our first episode in October, and it's a drama, but I also like to say it's a thriller. This wasn't my first rodeo, so to speak. Uh, I did do a, a project, I want to say this is probably five or six years ago now, the Common Thread series. And that series followed a group of people that went to high school together and they're coming back for an unofficial high school reunion. And I started that project and I was gonna follow each of those characters into their own web series. So the two main characters, that's kind of where Looking Through the Windows came about. I was gonna show how they're gonna make things work, how they're gonna build a life together. And I kind of just took that and just made it more unique to what I was actually experiencing. This is my favorite part of the house. It was really the selling point for me. No doubt. Yeah, we have a big sink, kitchen island, cabinet space, counter space. Fucking awesome. Sam, your mom is going to watch this video. I can it up. First project in our backyard was a, almost a direct spinoff of Common Threads because the detective was in that series. And so then I just took the detective and kind of made a whole series. And it doesn't, the series doesn't necessarily revolve around the detective. It's kind of like Twilight Zone meets The Wire, where you got this little community of people crafting this uh, drug that alters people's moods and behaviors while everybody else is fixed on kind of what's going on on the surface, which is like the typical drug war between two urban cities. So, heard you had a pretty exciting night last night. I was briefed on the explosion, but what did Professor Lewis say when you questioned him? Mm, nothing yet. He asked for his lawyer straight off the bat? Nah, he's been sleeping. Was gonna wait another hour before throwing him into the box. The man's house exploded. He should have been questioned immediately. Let's wake his ass up. Around the same time, when we had shot a few, uh, I would say a few scenes, we did like a concept trailer. I released that trailer and uh, somebody I went to college with actually said she had a story to tell me about when she escorted for a few months. And I didn't know any of this. And so I was really compelled by her story. And she told me how to get in touch with other escorts. And so via email, I started interviewing, I would say, it got to about, I would say, 10 escorts that actually responded to me. And it could have been a documentary, but I was very much in that series mindset. So I was like, well, let's see if it works as a series. And lo and behold, we have a pilot out now and it's been well received. Hmm. You look even better than the pictures. Thank you. Um, you got something for me? <laughs> you mean something other than this? Just kidding. 600, beautiful. Great. So I'll just step into the bathroom to change and I'll be right back. Take your time. I'm in no rush. It's a testament to the material when you shoot in their backyard, and that's the first thing that comes out. Then you do looking through the windows, and then a lot of attention goes to looking through the windows because there's some festivals, and then in their backyard starts getting some festival play. And then you bring in a third project, the same coin, and now you're juggling these three projects at once with no money, nobody's paying me to do any of this. Um, so, you know, the motivation is just really to get this out there because I feel like it's something that people enjoy and the people that have seen it have enjoyed it. So it's really about now going forth and getting more eyes on these projects and the festivals have really helped 